Hello friends, in this particular video, I am going to discuss about sunspot cycle detection using fast Fourier transform. Okay, so scientist Johann Rudolf Ulf has calculated the sunspot cycle and the periodicity came up as 11.1 years. Okay, the arrival of sunspot uh, follows a periodic pattern of periodicity 11.1 uh, years. Okay. So, this is also termed as Wolf number or Wolf sunspot number. So, suppose we have the data set of yearly mean of arrival of sunspots and the years. Okay. Now, from that data set, we can apply a 50 and we can compute what is the uh, uh, period of that particular data. So, here I have taken the data set from 1700 up to 2014 the yearly average of sunspot data is present here you can see up to 2014 data is present and this second column is basically the yearly average of the sunspot number okay so what i have done i have selected the whole second column and i have imported that in matlab okay so here is the simple code here clc clear all close all if you want you can write warning of also and then in the z variable i have taken the whole second column of our data set okay the data set link i will be posting in the description box if you want you can use that and uh, simultaneously apply in matlab and visualize the concept okay now n equal to length of z we are computing the length and then we are computing y equal to f50 of z comma n that is we are computing the fast fourier transform up to that point that is discrete fourier transform up to n point okay now as you know our point of interest is 0 to n by 2 and in case of matlab as the index starts from 1 so 1 to n by 2 plus 1 we have taken floor because if n comes as n by 2 comes as some fractional value it, it should be mapped to the nearest lowest integer then very very important point to understand f is equal to 1 sampling frequency i have taken 1 why because see sampling time in this case is one year like 1976 one measurement is taken then 1977 and so on this is yearly average so our time uh, sampling time is one year so in one year basically how many number of cycles only one cycles right so one cycle per year that's what it means okay or otherwise you can uh, simple and un simply understand like this that you know f is equal to one by sampling time here sampling time is one so one by one which will be nothing but one so one cycle per year okay this is our fs that's why i have taken fs as one okay so what will be the unit one cycle per year okay because cycle per year here year is the unit of time then this particular common line as i have shown you why we are writing this line a physical to lin space that is linearly space separated from 0 to fs by 2 and uh, how many uh, how many partitions that is how many points will be there n by 2 plus 1 okay and then stem f comma abs of e if you want you can use plot also no issue in that now just let me select all then evaluate selection okay if i do evaluate selection we will be getting this kind of graph okay this kind of uh, plot now we have to measure the maximum peak to get the exact periodicity because maximum the frequency corresponding to which we will be getting maximum uh, uh, height of amplitude that means that is most dominating uh, frequency component and uh, approximately we can say that that will be our periodic uh, peri peri period of our uh, periodic data set okay so let me go to tools and then go to data cursor now you can see maximum peak is arriving at zero frequency or dc but dc means no frequency because that means zero frequency right but we have to calculate some frequency so we are ignoring the dc okay now the next maximum peak is arriving here now, if you put your data cursor here, see what value you will be getting? X, X is, X coordinate is frequency. Y coordinate is amplitude. So, what is our uh, frequency of maximum? That is 0 0.09236, 0 0.09236. So, 
this is our frequency of our data 0 0.09236 so 1 by frequency will be time 1 by 0 0.09236 this is what we got just click enter see you will be getting the value as 10.8272 which is approximately close to 11 okay so this is what is our sunspot uh, period okay so after nearly 11 years we will be getting back the sunspot data re repeated okay that is periodicity will come okay so it is close to what our scientist wolf has calculated that is 11.1 years okay so this is how you can apply FFT on the sunspot data set okay another very very important application so any kind of data set where some cyclic or periodic nature is there you can apply FFT okay just simply import and write these simple lines in all the code whenever cyclicity or periodicity will be present in the data set you can apply this all right I hope you have understood this this is all for my this video if you want to know how this line came, don't forget to check my earlier video where I have uh, discussed the case study on wave, uh, that is sea level elevation, wave elevation uh, data set uh, based Fourier transformation analysis. Okay, that will surely help you. Thank you for watching.